Hyperrealism, a teacher and a protector. Everything beyond hyperrealism is a delicious problem. Your road is your own. You can dive directly into photogrammetry and base your next portrait on a 3D model. Or you can open up your reference photo in GIMP and adjust the color temperature. Or you can challenge yourself to a vision quest by completely desaturating your reference photo. Mixing the color from scratch may feel relatively counterproductive, but it may lead you to a series of simplified portraits or color studies, where you, for example, just use three variations of a color, dark, medium, and light, instead of a full palette, which will force you into more abstract creations. In short, the lessons in your path come from your curiosity about the infinite world of art. There are no teachers here. You move at your own pace and in the direction that calls to you. Hyperrealism means two things to me. One, that it is a teacher, but also that it can push poverty away. Here, my reluctance towards hand-drawn portraits really comes to the surface. People looking to purchase a keepsake may not be interested in the artist's own impression. I think maybe this is the root of the starving artist problem. Imagine that you wish to purchase a portrait of a dear family member. Someone who always cared about you and helped you in life a great deal. Do you want the artist's hand between you and your loved one? Or do you want a perfect, beautiful portrait that captures how you see your loved one with your heart? The problem with the artist's hand has gotten so bad that nobody thinks about portraits anymore. I should clarify that I do not blame the artists. It is the teachers that in their blind chase for an easy paycheck reinforced some terrible ideas about art just to keep the students busy. Forget the starving artist nonsense. You are a royalty. You are a hyper-realist. Start your business with nine perfect portraits and a small display of the reference photos and time-lapse videos. Deliver it to your potential client and they will immediately understand what you are offering and what it will look like. Personally, I think realistic portraits should start at $1,000 and sometimes carry on past 20,000. This immediately tells your customer everything they need to know about folks selling portraits for 50 or 100 bucks. While you are waiting for clients, you work on expanding and improving your art portfolio. You work on your coffee table book and the art book that tells your entire art story. And you continue improving your online lectures, covering more and more as you learn more and more. You should have a photography website and consider selling time-lapse videos of nature. A camera that can do this is only $50. And all you need to start your photography business is clip-on lenses for your phone. They're like $30. Take time to record 8 or 12 hour scenes of summer days turning to night, capturing the symphony of insects, birds, trees, and weather. The customers that recognize the quality of your work will have no problem waiting for you to finish your existing projects. If you show them a list of the projects online, and your daily progress videos, they will only love their portrait that much more. 
Here I want to take a moment and warn you about social media. Do not base your company on something that flimsy. Keep your stuff on your own website and be ready to remove the link to whatever is keeping you from joy and happiness of life. Hyperrealism is both a teacher and a way out of poverty, or at the very least a way to push away fears brought on by poverty. Art is part of our heart. It will teach and protect.